guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and the brand new Dimensional is up. That is right, Mulan is available, guys. So we're actually gonna hop in the merchant ship and we are going to pick her up. So out of here, I believe it is in the advanced ship, which there she is, guys. We are picking up some Sonetta notes. So I'm gonna look at those in just a minute. Um, I believe that is the, the event that is going on right now. We might not have enough in here to pick this up. But let's see if we can do it, guys. There we go. Would I like to donate? No, thanks. And there we go. So we pick up a couple of those. We pick up Mulan. Of course, we've seen in her trials, um, super, super broken, guys. It seems like she is going to be a very, very cool hero. So with the merchant ship and getting that, it does give us, I believe, right there it is, the melodic gifts. So we do have a couple draws in here. Um, looking what we want in the reward wheel, um, as much as I would like the scrolls, guys, I'm going to go for Beast. We know right now everything is about Beast, so if I can pick up two of those, I would be super, super happy. We only have one chance, which is kind of crazy, guys. So every 300 that we get just for get, picking her up, we do get one single chance. There are also a couple bundles in here, which are pretty good value overall, $4.99. Um, for 25 chests so the, the value in here is pretty good and the opportunity to possibly pull bonus loot pretty good as well but i'm sure it's going to be a chest or it is going to be a small pile of essence let's see what we get guys 25 bait so not too bad um bait of course we're, we're trying to pick up a lot of those with the bundles in here we're still just literally saving all those but guys a, a couple things in here short term um oh i, I was gonna say so we're going to hop over. We're going to link Mulan in the Temple of Ascension. And there she is, guys. So remember, linking her to a hero that we usually usually will not use in the same formation. So I'm thinking, let's say someone like Gwen. I, I really don't see us using Gwen in the dimensional keys. They are all used at this point. I'm going to go ahead and link so we can build her up a little bit. Absolutely, guys. Such a very, very cool hero. So we got the engraving in there. And that gives us our 16th hero. Again, we're gonna go ahead and activate all of these skills, have a little bit of engraving for her. I'm gonna pop her in the furniture summons. Now we don't have very much, very many poke coins, but we can continue to build her out. Now, since we picked her up, we are also looking within the Arcane Labyrinth. Um, I'm gonna continue utilizing just emblems of space, guys. I'm not going to use my red chest with her um, because I wanna make sure that we have enough for all of these other heroes. We're building out Kinesa and Rook. We are also building out this point, the Awakened version of Taylene. So that takes it to a plus 25. Plus 25. So it's going to take a little bit more time to build her out. But we do have the engraving in here as well. So there is our plus 30 engraving, which is where we wanted to absolutely build her out. And then gear. We need gear, guys. I, I'm not sure anyone else just has... Some gear i'm thinking of a couple different heroes i don't think i have another set of dimensional gear my dimensional gear essentially went to geralt you can see guys we have three of the four pieces in here so i am gonna have to farm um the, the guild boss to get tokens and see if we can get the gear out of there because again i don't think i have any dimensional gear at all for her but we do get the tier three gear out of here so very very cool to see and of course ranger guys going the enemy side, probably dual divinity in here, um, just for the crit, the damage amplification, could also put some protection on her. But remember, she cannot be attacked when she is going on the enemy side. Um, when she actually does her riding, she cannot be attacked. And also looking here, guys, this, the, the plus 60 in here is good. But furniture, we're going to drop her in here as well. Still have a lot of heroes. We have, what, just a couple summons in here. But we have been waiting on the wish list, and we actually had the slot, if you caught the live stream, um, to go ahead and drop her into, which there she is, guys. So no furniture, still focusing again. We have Kinesa, we have her, and then we also do have the Awakened version of Taylene, and we have Salakai in here. I'm hoping maybe we can pull one or two now that we finally have her. We save the pull coins, which there is a piece. Um, Orin is another hero, guys. A lot of players kind of us underestimate him. Second piece goes to Nibi. Um, required when you get to three teams. Three teams within the Wilder Tower, guys. Um, he is a pretty big requirement at that point. 
which is the reason a lot of players were asking why we were building him out. That is really one of the big reasons, guys. We got another one there. We have four now on Nevi. Then, of course, the towers are full, but I think my last tower is our dimensional tower. Look at that, guys. Remember, there's only 20 floors in here. They're talking about another way that they are going to essentially make the, um, the whale in or the oak in um, because there is not enough room to house all of the same faction heroes in one spot. And they said they really can't do it. Like they might have some, uh, some problems in there with the build. So we'll go ahead and we'll optimize one more time, giving her some furniture, which means upping her viability. Now we do also get the trial version of her. Now I am gonna save that guys. Big reason for that is if you save the trial version, which right here we can exchange um, free for three days, you get a fully built copy of her. That, that is really the big reason. So if we are seeing her utilization, which we might, I, I really haven't looked at the Cursed Realm as of right now, um, to see if there's anyone in here in the leaderboard, Key or anybody else that is actually utilizing her. So there is Baden. There we have Audrey, there, there's Vathiel. I'm seeing him all over. Raku within that formation. No, so as of now, short of being in the final boss fight, um, not seeing him in the formation at this point, or not seeing her in the formation at this point, but I could see her as a buffer working incredibly well, again, within these formations, which she could be in the boss fight. Um, we don't know at that point, but very, very cool to see. Then, of course, guys, we did get the new pet. Um, I've been saving all of my beast food, so we got one out of here. We have eight summons out of here. Now, we're trying to get, while we have the lion up to 12, I am going to keep the lion at 12. So with the resonance, um, we talked about it a lot of different players. So we are trying to get pets up to level 9 at this point to go ahead and level all the rest. So we have an 8666, six, six, which means we have to get a couple of those out. So right now, it almost seems like there's you can put anyone in here, I guess, because they're all at level 6 short of our Blade Ridge. But we're going to have to get five of them. And again, my understanding is five of them up to level nine. So five level nine beasts will do all level nine. So we have to get Blade Ridge up a little bit higher. And then I'm going to go with the Owl and probably the new one. So again, we're dropping out my level 12. I'm going to keep the Owl in here. I'm also going to put in... Um, we're putting, or no, we were keeping Blade Ridge in there. I think Blade Ridge was my other one that was higher. Yep, Blade Ridge, and then we'll go Owl. Blade Ridge, again, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know what? Blade Ridge, Talisman, and Owl. So Blade Ridge, do Blade Ridge, we'll do uh, Talisman, and then Owl, since Owl and Talisman are both at six. Blade Ridge, again, we have to get to nine. Once we get Blade Ridge to nine, we're actually going to drop Blade Ridge out and focus on another pet to actually build up. So let's see where we have Blade Ridge at. We'll pull one copy out of there, but Blade Ridge, I don't think we have one of three. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to pull some more copies. Now in here, guys, even with 800 baits, um, incredibly, incredibly difficult to get those copies. Th those copies, it, it seems like this is still an event or this is still a part of AFK Arena 2 of Talos Main. Um, that is super, super expensive to build up these heroes. I know it was a good update and we got the pets quite a bit higher, but again, as you've seen going through the Crimson Snow, um, really a struggle building them and, and getting them built. So even here, guys, we only got two or three copies. And then here we only got what one so still gonna have to wait guys to get all of these to nine to get five pets to level nine again blade ridge is going to be a little bit easier because we can only need what one more or, or two more copies will take them to nine but then we have to get three other pets to level nine which again is going to be kind of crazy so all right guys so that'll do it for today's video let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching